Step graphics are interactive explanations that make it really easy for learners to sequentially walk through a process or a workflow, procedure, uh, any kind of related items. They can be used pretty much for all types of learning interactions from procedural training to interactive storytelling. They're similar to tabs interactions, except they use numeric pagination. So uh, they're great for chunking complex information similar to tabs, but they're more focused around step-by-step -step explanations that visually organize each step of a process. So let's take a look at a couple examples here. So you'll see these types of interactions used a lot in multimedia journalism because they're using multimedia to uh, walk you through or tell a story. So in this example, you're seeing each step of a dunk in terms of the physics and how uh, the basketball players are able to you know, get up off the ground, especially the short guys do, and get that ball up in there. A lot of times are used for explaining a tragedy, right? So what happened? What were the steps? How did it, you know, how did it play out? Rather than just using words, they can use a, a step graphic interaction or stepper, so as they're sometimes called, to walk you through and tell the story visually with less text, but uh, simple animations and graphics. So you see the little call outs here, kind of walking you through what each of these, uh, is really the steps and what happened, how it played out. And then sometimes they can be combined with uh, more animation, right, for zooming in or emphasizing parts of uh, interaction. So you'll see the step graphics with images, and then maybe there's a 3D or animated video that trans, uh, transitions between the two slides or the two steps and walks you through to show you exactly what happened. All right, so let's take a look at how to put that together in Storyline. All right, so in this example, again, they're going to work a lot like tabs interactions, but we have a series of steps right here. So just really the numeric pagination. The navigation isn't really filling up the slide. If I had fewer steps, oops, whoopsie, um, we could certainly delete some of those graphics and, and only use the pieces that we need. So in this example, we'll just preview it. And what it's walking you through is how to build a paper airplane. And so each step represents a, a different step in the process. So we're loading slide layers here for the instructions. And then you have the visuals to explain it. What's nice about these, similar to label graphics, is that once you have your pagination set up, right, you can just change the contents on the slide layers. So we have each of these graphics right here. It has a trigger, right? We're going to show a layer. And then each layer, in this case, is a sequential uh, is, is added sequentially based on the steps that you go through. And so we go through each of these steps and you can see the uh, parts of the graphic. All right, so that's all there is to it right there. What's nice about it then again, is this is the graphic here for the bottom. If you need to swap this out for something else, you could certainly do that and then just really replace your content down here or you know grab your uh, step buttons and then drop those into a entirely new project. And of course, if you didn't need them all, just come in and you know, take out a few of these that you don't use and you can have them, but I, you know, make a, may, maybe make a bunch of them up to 10 or 20 steps. So you have them once and then just remove the steps that you don't need. And of course you could even leave the layers up there because they're never going to be shown if you don't actually have buttons to show those layers.